Hey, I'm Jean, President and CEO of Ike Light Underwater Systems. I'm a diver, I'm an underwater photographer, and I've evaluated pretty much every digital camera that's been released in the past 20 years. If you ask me today, what's the best budget camera system to take underwater? My answer would be the Canon EOS R100. We're not sponsored by Canon. We're not being paid for this opinion. I'm recommending this because it works better than most other cameras underwater. The R100 is the most affordable way to invest in a system that can tackle almost anything underwater with ease. And I wanna tell you why the R100 is your best choice of a compact point and shoot camera. So let's dive into it. I wanna start out talking about size because having a compact system for travel is one of the most important things to me. I also think it's a bit of a balancing act because some smaller cameras are just more difficult and uncomfortable for me to use. Now, I don't have large hands, but some compact cameras just don't seem to fit in them. My thumb ends up being on the LCD screen. I can barely hit this record start stop button and I kind of feel like I'm gonna drop it because I'm clumsy and there's no grip on the front of the camera. The R100 has a classic grip style and a lightweight body which fits well in my hands. The grip also leaves room for a good sized battery pack which provides over 400 shots per charge and typically you're gonna get even more than that easily a full day of diving on a single charge. Those shots are going to be a lot brighter and more detailed than what you would capture with a compact camera with a built-in lens. That's because the R100 has a 24 megapixel APS-C size sensor. That's about three times the size of the Sony RX series sensor. So the EOS R100 will capture more light and better images in low light situations. And I know pixel count isn't everything, but 24 megapixels is a good benchmark for the minimum I would look for in a higher end camera these days. Canon has been industry leading for several years now on autofocus capabilities. And a camera's ability to find and lock focus quickly is critical to getting a good shot. The autofocus system of the R100 will help you get the shot even when shooting in low light or when the subject is moving. And in addition to the camera's automatic modes, the EOS R100 gives you full creative control over important exposure settings. This is gonna be a huge step up if you've been shooting something like your iPhone or maybe an Olympus TG6 camera where your exposure controls are really limited. You don't have to be intimidated by exposure settings. I recommend starting out with Steve Miller's tutorial on setting your aperture, which we'll link up here. Then check out the cheat sheets section in the photo school of our website. You'll get your camera set and get the right shots in almost any situation. The most versatile aspect of the Canon R100 is the lens mount. It comes with an 18 to 45 millimeter zoom lens, which is a really good range to start out with underwater because it can handle relatively large subjects at the 18 millimeter setting. And it also focuses down to less than eight inches, which is great when shooting smaller subjects. And the lens can be taken on and off and changed for a wide angle or macro lens. Canon's lens lineup includes some of our very favorites for underwater photography. Check out our article on the best Canon RF mount lenses, which is linked in the description below. A good lens is one of the best investments you can make in your photography. I like to invest in a good lens that attaches to the camera instead of one that attaches to the front of my housing. It makes the system more compact, lighter, and easier to handle underwater. It also becomes something that I can use throughout my travels when I'm shooting photos on my surface intervals. When I talk about investments, I think it's incredible that you can get into the R100 system for less than $2,000. Canon offers several step-up cameras from the R100, but you're gonna be paying at least $500 more for a few extra features. The truth is that no other camera manufacturer is offering this much performance in a more competitively priced camera body right now. You're getting 
the 24 megapixel camera with the APS-C size sensor, which is 60% larger than the micro four thirds sensor found in Olympus and Panasonic cameras. The larger sensor is gonna give you more detail and better low light performance. You get the Canon technology. Canon has been years ahead of its competitors in autofocus and image processing technology, and the R100 really performs well here. In the iClate system, you also have affordable dome and flat port options. You get the support of a full range of wide angle, zoom, and macro lenses due to the interchangeable port system. The last thing you wanna do is shoot an interchangeable lens camera inside of a housing with a fixed flat port. That would be like ordering an appetizer at a buffet. With iClight, you also have a housing that is made here in the USA and built to last as long as you wanna use it. We're here to support you like no other manufacturer. I'm looking forward to sharing more with you about the Canon EOS R100 in future videos. Please leave us a comment with your thoughts or shoot an email to iClight at iClight.com. Happy shooting!